This is my simple setup for testing GPS interference from the small cameras we're using on our models. This is my test rig with the camera at the bottom, a battery in the middle and the test GPS receiver at the top. I've got a GPS receiver set up indoors. The signals going to it are quite weak and you can see from the bars at the bottom of the screen the signal level. The longer the bar the stronger the signal. What I'm going to do now is I'll take a couple of cameras and just put them underneath it. If you have a look at the still picture of my rig, it's about the same distance the camera would be on the 350. First of all, we'll try the Mobius camera. I'm going to turn it on and make it record. As I take it close to the GPS, you'll see that the signal goes down. If I put it underneath the GPS, in about the same place as it would be on the 350, the satellite signals are still present, but not as strong. You'll see as I take it away, that those signals come up. Now if I put the Mobius back underneath in about the same position as it would normally be and then I add a battery pack again at about the same place it would be in the 350. You'll see that the battery pack offers a, a wee bit of screening but not a lot. Again, if I take the camera out from underneath, you'll see that the signals will come up slightly. A simple fix for the Mobius is to put around it some screening. Again, I'm going to move the battery away. And on the Mobius, I'll put a screen around it, just made from aluminium foil. The camera is still recording. and I'll place it underneath the GPS now. When the battery pack is refitted, the interference will have more screening from the camera to the GPS receiver. So for a Mobius, a very simple trick is to just use aluminium foil around the camera. I'll show you now with a couple of other cameras I have. As I move around in the workshop here, the signals are changing a little bit. I'm now going to use a cheap camera that I have used before on models and just turn it on close to the GPS. Again, when I turn it on, the GPS signals start to go down. And on this particular camera, where it is at the moment, they've all but gone. Place it underneath some of the signals come back, but nowhere near as strong. Another camera that often gets used for models is one of the stick type cameras. And again, turning that on, close to the GPS, takes down the signals. put it underneath where it would be approximately on the 350 the signals are still affected but not as bad take it out and the signals come up again the screen for around the camera is made from normal cooking foil but what I find with the normal cooking foil is that it's a little bit fragile to work with so what I do is I put on it some just clear adhesive tape. I've got the wider tape here, makes it easier to work with. And all I need to do is put that on one side.
and rub it down. Difficult to see on here, but that now has made it far stronger than the original aluminium foil was. As an example, you can see that the aluminium foil where the tape is not present easily tears. But where I've got the tape on it, it's very difficult to tear it. Makes it much stronger. The aluminium foil is simply wrapped around the camera, held in place with a bit of sticky tape, and it's so thin that you can operate the controls through the foil and check at the back, of course, that it is recording. With the foil being so thin, it will still fit into the holder for the camera. Hope this test has been some benefit to all of you. Cheers.